Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Member SMP Season 3. Like always, if you guys have missed any, you can go back, check out a playlist, get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. If you would like to join this here server, it's only 99 cents to become a member here on YouTube, and that will get you a bunch of cool perks, as well as the access to this server, which is cross-platform, and 24-7, so you can join whenever you want, or with me on Tuesdays when I record it. And uh, also, you'll get videos early, You'll get emojis you can use in the chat, emojis next to your name that say what level you are, all kinds of good stuff like that. But anyways, let's get to the plan for today. I don't know if I'll fully finish my plan. I think there's a lot that I have to do. I've kind of been slacking a little bit. I need to kind of check what kind of resources I have. Okay, so this stuff is pretty good. I could probably use that. Don't have much wood. I have some andesite. I'm looking for probably grays, maybe some whites. I don't know, we can, we can kind of mix it up. We'll take what we've got. I should probably let you in on what I'm planning on building. Maybe some of this stuff. I want to build a factory over at Spawn. So, like, I have I have the production going here. I've kind of learned a bit about how to auto-produce things. So, I'm thinking I take some of this stuff, maybe even more machinery, like, have more stuff being produced automatically if I can. But I take this stuff that I at least know that I can do, bring this on over. Yeah, bring this kind of stuff on over into Spawn Lands and get automatic production going over there. I always gotta, whenever I come down here, there's always wheat grown, so I always gotta do my, I always gotta do my maintenance here. Get my, get this bread. So that's the thing, I should probably start by building the machinery, right, and then later doing the covering, because that way I know, like, how much space I'm gonna need, you know what I mean? So basically, I think I'm just gonna grab a lot of these gray blocks I have, like, cobblestone, andesite, tough, maybe even smooth basalt, um, and I think gray and white, I think those are factory colors. Factories are always just gray and white. Very, very basic. We'll grab these redstone lamps. We'll use that as lighting. I got a bunch of sticks. What the heck am I going to do with all these sticks? I was supposed to trade them. I should still do that at some point. Also, torches. We're going to need a lot of torches. Can always make more of those later. Maybe bamboo wood? I don't know. We could probably use that somewhere. I've got, <laughs> I've got plenty of it, so I might as well use it up, right? And, you know, if we get production going over there, we're going to have even more of it, so, yeah. Oh, that's uh, something I should remember. I need to actually bring the items. Well, you know, it's a quick travel back and forth, so I can I can take some of this stuff, stick it in a chest, come back, and get more stuff. That calcite, that's pretty good. That's a good uh, white block. Maybe some of this tinted glass could be good. That's all I can take for now. So, yeah, we can run over there and... Uh, we can we can set up a chest and like get get this stuff all offloaded. Look at how nice I I don't know if I did I have shaders in the last one I don't think I did. Look at how nice this looks all shadered up, very beautiful. Let's see the house all shadered. Oh yeah, look at the sun rising behind the behind the mead hall. What the fudge? Somebody's been breeding chickens. Somebody's I can't get out. I cannot. There's no escape. I cannot freaking get out. Please let me out. God, I'm gonna have to kill chickens just to get escape. Okay, I made it. Holy frig! The fudge. All right, we've uh, we've limited limited the chicken population a little bit. That's uh, that's definitely better. <laughs> oh wait, that was the sun uh, sinking. The sun was going down behind Kattegat. So we do slash claims, and oh, Wakey has claims now again. We go to the Hall of Kings, my second home, where I sit the throne forever. I am the last king, the last king to ever exist. Uh, I should probably, yeah, I should probably take a nap. We don't want to be doing this at night. I got to kind of think of where a good place to build this would be. So we've got like the voting area right by the Hall of Kings. We've got a prison over there. I don't think we want factory right by prison. Maybe here next to, next to the bank. Maybe actually like, I was going to say right in front of the bank. They could be across the street from each other. Or we could do right next to, I think maybe here. Right on the beach, right next to the bank. Probably do it down a level even. So let's go ahead and we'll plop the crafting table down. We'll grab a chest. Maybe do a double chest probably. And we'll throw all this junk on in there. We'll go back and get another load of junk. Probably grab some more food too. I'm running short on food. I actually have like the mass produced bread though. So that's, that's always good. Back to Kettigit. Now let's see. We probably want... These stone brick kind of things. Maybe bamboo slabs. Why not? Snow blocks? 
they're white. We could probably use that. Andesite, uh, stone brick walls, maybe. Maybe just a little bit of cobblestone. This stuff, though. Stone, andesite, chiseled, and tough. All right, I am going to feed my puppies the chicken, and I'm going to go get bread. Oh, we do. By the way, I don't know if this was on camera. Did, did we get this on camera? There's a new puppy. These two had we we got a, we got another dog. You know, it's not a puppy anymore. It actually grew up. So that's that's kind of dope. Give me some name suggestions. Drop them in the comments. Uh, bread. That's I was like, what am I? What did I come down here for? I'm checking every chest along the way, trying to remember what the frig I came down here for. Just grab a stack of bread from the auto breader. We'll make an even bigger auto breader, I think, over there. I know how to make this even even larger. I do probably need to study this though. This was the tough part, getting this to work. So I'm gonna need like all the redstone stuff also. Do I have any of that in here? Let's grab a stack of bamboo. Let's grab a stack of seeds. And that's another load we can take over into spawn land. I'm gonna need to get all this kind of stuff. Observers, pistons, redstone. Yeah, that, that's gonna be a lot of stuff. And uh, also these, the auto crafters. Oh, iron, you know what? I don't know if I have a lot of iron. I might have to do some mining. Should I do a bit of copper in there too? Copper's always good, right? Anyway, back to the Hall of Kings. You know, I have this claim here. I should, uh, I should name this so that way I know how to, I know where I can travel to. Travel to the bank, travel, because I always travel to the Hall of Kings, then I gotta run on over. So I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it at a level lower than the bank. I think I'm gonna flatten this out, and then, you know, we'll fill in over here. We'll make it just one level lower. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff too, probably. I don't know about that entire tower, but I'll get rid of most of that tower, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Another... This should be the final trip, I think. Because now we just need to get what we need to grow. Okay, we should get some dirt. That's good for growing stuff. I wonder, should I do some of this? I could probably do some of this copper stuff. Copper, great. Uh, where's my redstone? Okay, let's grab the redstone. You know what else I could do? I could have, like, automatic cookers. I could have, like, how I usually do an auto smelter. I can do the same thing, but with a smoker. That could be kind of cool. Like, we could have an auto potato cooker. Auto chicken cooker. Yo, the possibilities are endless. This factory is going to be wild. Maybe let's take some shroom lights. Those are always good for lights. I like those. Okay, we do need a bit of sugar cane, which... That's a little hard to get, because uh, this thing is constantly running. Let me see here. Okay, we got a couple pieces in there. We'll take that. Uh, wax copper bulbs, we'll take those. I don't know why I have coal in there, but that's that's good. We'll, we'll take that coal. Uh, I could use water buckets, but instead I have lava buckets. I think I'm going to have to go do a bit of mining also. I think I have to get some iron. Probably more redstone. Oh, quartz. I need quartz for the observers. What do I need for the auto crafters? Okay, I've got a little bit of quartz. Definitely going to need more. Crafters, iron dropper and redstone how do you make a dropper is that the one with the that's not the one with the bow right okay that's not the one with the bow okay we're good on that so i think we've got just about everything there's probably going to be some stuff i'm going to have to mine along the way but uh for now we've brought everything here all the production items we can start mining for some iron because that's going to be a big factor in getting this thing built getting all the equipment made i guess this is going to be pretty big. I think I'm going to have to have it go, like, down some levels. Yeah, I was just feeling like there's not enough really built here at spawn. You know, we've got the Hall of Kings. We've got the bank. The Eye of Sauron. The little voting booth. The prison. But it all just feels kind of empty. We need this to be more towny. We need, uh... We need production. We need a factory. I don't know if that makes it more towny or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, we are going to need a lot of space for this, so I'm thinking I'm going to go right up against here. I mean, the bank is my building as well, so I can I can destroy some of this land here. No big deal. Oh, some sand. We'll get some glass from that also. That'll be pretty good. A little bit more coal. Never hurt nobody. Oh, I think the... Is the sun going down? All right, I dug that out. I need to get rid of this sand. I got inventory. So what are you doing here, uh, camel? What the fudge are you actually doing here? Dirt. Yeah, dirt right back at you. All right, good thing I brought the cobblestone. I'm going to have to do a little bit of filling in. We'll just do it with cobblestone here. We'll flatten this all out like so. All the way back, I think, all the way to, like, freaking here. This is going to be a long building, so we'll probably flatten it all the way back to, like, the beach. It's kind of crazy, a factory with beachfront property. We'll have to have, like, a big glass window looking out over the, uh, over the water here. While it is also dark, we can kind of torch this up. 
hopefully keep the spawnage down. All right, so I'm out of cobblestone. That's probably a good point to go do a little bit of iron mining because I do want this to expand out a bit more. And uh, we're, we're pretty close though. I mean, this has become a big flat, nice big flat area. But I think we should have a place that goes pretty far down into the mines over here somewhere, uh, like in front of the in front of the Hall of Kings, I believe. And then I should I should make paths. So we have a path going here. I should make a path that goes all the way to the bank, all the way to the factory. Yeah, we got a little bit of mineage here. I should fix this. This is this is a head hitter. Okay, here we go. This is the iron level, level 15. It looks like somebody did a decent bit of mining down here already. But uh, I'm sure there's more. There's more resources to go. Ooh, did I just find a little bit of a cave? I, I think it's just a little dead end. Maybe it's a little bit of a cave. This might be good for finding some iron. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of gold. That's pretty good. Any iron. That's what I'm really at. There's more gold. Even more gold. Oh, there's the iron. Heck yeah. Having the fortune is definitely going to help on that. I'm pretty glad that they did add that. That is that is a pretty good addition. I've uh, run out of torches, so I'm going to keep one in my offhand just so I can see. But things can get a little dangerous down here. Especially, I don't have a shield either. I haven't been carrying a sh I thought that was diamonds. I haven't been carrying a shield for a while. More coal. That's always good in production, right? I should get uh, some dripstone and get some lava. I did get a couple buckets of lava. So I could get some lava production going. I could have also do that there too. I mean, it's literally, I want it to be like all the production, all in one factory. And as automated as possible. I mean, as to the best of my ability, I guess. Because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how to do all the automation, but I know some. I guess we'll just keep digging on this way. Uh, maybe I'll grab some copper. Because we could use copper as like a, a bit of a decorative block in places. I don't have the honey production to be able to you know make it not rust or not oxidize whatever you want to call it but um that's all right we could have green copper in places uh oh underwater zones you hate to see it there is gold here though it's kind of gonna be a little bit rough to get we'll get it from over here there we go that's better now sometimes you'll get some good iron in these places but and then you get these dingle hoppers aha here we go there is iron but I need air. Oh, I need air. We're gonna get air. We're gonna swim in quick. Try and grab this and then get back out. Before I run out of breath. Very close. Very close to running out of breath. Did I get all of it? I think I got it all. Wait, where's my way out? Fudge! Fudge! Squids! Squids, you're gonna kill me! <laughs> How did I get so disoriented and lose the exit? Alright, where the frig is my exit? There it is, there it is. Let's go. That's a bad tunnel. We'll, we'll go do another tunnel. Oh, I passed some iron. There was some right here. Cool. I see you creeping down there. I see you. Don't think I don't see you, you dingus. There's a lot of unmined, just straight tunnels. I mean, like, there's copper there. There was some gold in that one. I'm wondering, like, why there'd be dug tunnels but not mining the stuff. All right, so here's uh, the start of one, but it hasn't been dug through yet. So let's go for that. I'm hoping to just find like one more good iron vein, and then I think we'll head out of here. I think I just found it. Oh yeah, decent iron vein. Four bits. Uh, that gets me up to 41. It's uh, probably not going to be enough, but it's a start. We'll have to do a little bit more mining later on. Where does this double wide staircase go to? I didn't realize this was here. But it connects to that other single wide staircase down through some of the tunnels, which is weird. Oh, it's right here. Oh, I guess I did know about it. I've seen it before. They've got here some diorite, some andesite, some tough. I'm gonna take some of that stuff so I can use it for the build. Oh, there's torches here. I think that was probably me that put those torches there, honestly. We'll give them the granite, we'll put that back. I don't know whose chest that actually is, but like I've stored stuff that, there. I think other people have stored stuff there. And then also this was, the items, oh, there's tough. This was the items we used for building this. I don't know why tough would be in there. Some exposed copper bulbs, I could use those. Somebody's diamond axe is just chilling in there. WT fudge. Can we do automatic kelp farm that will produce, um, we could smelt it and produce kelp blocks to make to make some like good fuel for the furnace? All right, I do need to get some furnace, let's do that. Let's make a furnace. We get some iron smelting on up. Maybe I should make a second furnace. Probably a good idea, right? We can start smelting some of the gold. We'll need to smelt some copper. Of course, 
It's raining on my head. It's always raining on my head. We'll go all the way out to here, I think. I think that, or maybe, nah, maybe just right here. I think this will be good, good enough. We'll, we'll leave some of the natural beach there. You know, I am bringing production here, and it's probably going to be polluting and stuff and bad, but I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of the natural beach. I'm not that evil. <laughs> All right, so there's the whole flattened area. So it's going to be a pretty big, pretty big building. Like I said, uh, I can also maybe dig it down if I need to. I probably will end up doing basement levels. But uh, let's go all the way, get the dirt. Let's get the, the wheat growing right off the rip here. We'll go all the way back to the edge here. We'll do a 9x9. Nine nine. Actually, we may want to bring it in one or two from the edge because you, you do need the pistons back behind it. You need water and pistons and the redstone. So we'll... There's the edge. We'll go one, two. We'll go to here. All right, so there's the start of the farm, and I think it's probably... I think I'm probably going to have to have it drop a level because I think with these, usually the water flows. The water flows so many blocks, and then it stops. I think it's eight blocks. Wait, why didn't I just fill that back in? I dug that out so I could put water source there, and then I fill it back in. All right, so we need a bouquet. All right, so let's, let's maybe start with some of this chiseled stone brick. And we'll start kind of making a wall here, just as like a kind of a placeholder, so we know where we're going to be building stuff, I guess. Fill that source in there. All right, so I need to make nine sticky pistons. Uh, where is pistons? I think I need redstone. I'm missing some stuff. There we go, redstone. We need to make nine pistons, and let's make those nine sticky pistons. These are going to go right here, but they're going to go down a level. And I think this can only go to like six. One, two, three, four, six. Six or seven. I don't know. I'll have to, I guess I'll put the water in and see how it flows. I guess I'm also going to kind of build up a wall here just to keep everything contained a bit. Just about perfect. All right. So I need um, nine repeaters also, I believe. So I'm going to have to smelt up some of this cobble stone. So that should be 18 redstone torches, right? Is my math correct? Oh, I have stone here. Okay, let's go. Make four. So these are gonna run into here, like so. Just like how I have the other one set up, basically. So I only need two more. All right, there's that done. Now we need to run redstone all along the back. And we'll kind of just cover this back in with beach. We'll make it look like nothing happened, right? There you go. You'd never even know that there was wiring running right there. And then this can come to here. Think like that. There we go. That's uh, that's exactly how it needs to be. I'm stuck. I just got myself stuck. <laughs> what the frig? Little did you know, it's actually a trap. I think, though, I think I'm going to extend this out by one, though. Like that. So that way I can, like, cover it a little better. If we do like that... Then like this, then like that. Yeah, that way I can kind of like fill it in around here. It'll be covered. I'll need some more of these chiseled bricks. But uh, we can just put bamboo. Kind of just cover this up here like this. Do like this. We're gonna have water sitting in right here. So now let's see how far that flows. Oh, why does it? Why does it stop over here? That's weird. Shouldn't do that. Oh, I think it, I think what it is is uh, this. I think I need to cover that. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and throw a slab on in there. And now that should flow as far as it's gonna, I think. No, why is it Why is it doing that? That's really weird. I just noticed how the water's all wavy from this uh, shader pack I'm using. I just don't get... Why is that being so weird, though? Let's get rid of it. It's those three, right? Those four? Alright, we'll get rid of it and then we'll like refill it back in and see if that fixes it. I don't know. I don't know what would cause such a thing. Because it's all sources. Like this, this is all source blocks of water. There should be no reason for it to flow weird. So my plan is to have it, once it reaches this point where it stops flowing, was to have it continue flowing so that way we can have a second layer of farm down here like so 
See, that's getting real weird now because that water's like flowing out too. Hey, Turbo's just joined. I'm getting close to the end, but he has just joined. Maybe we can hop on into the voice chat. Uh, how do you make a stone cutter? I need to, I need to figure that out. Stone cutter. Because that's going to save me in the long run. Okay, so you do need stone actually for that. Hello. What up, Turbo? What up? How's it going, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You're, you're right at the end. I'm getting close to like ending my, my episode here. Yeah, fair enough. I kind of forgot. Gotcha, gotcha. I've been working on trying to build a factory, though. <laughs> So far, no great success. No, no, don't toilet paper me. It's just, it's just the beginning. So there's not, there's not much yet. I don't know why the water is flowing weird like this. What a disappointment. Hey, I've, uh, I've had to gather all the stuff, bring it over here, one inventory load at a time because we don't have shulker boxes, and then I'm setting this up and. I had to go mining actually for iron too. I didn't have any iron. Now my water's flowing weird. I don't know why that is. What do you think I was doing with my house with all the bricks? Also, the I'm. Same thing. Walk there. Also, I'm recording, so it's it's different. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, it's uh the water's not flowing right for some reason. Yeah, I saw that. And that's very I weird. I don't know why I would do that. What is this? What if I dig down here? What if I do this? What kind of magic is this? Dude, I don't know what the heck happened to this water. That's a good question. It's so weird. No. I flip this. Yeah, look, it just... It just stops there still. Why would it do that? What is, what is Whoa! This? Fudge! Oh, good thing it's claimed. <laughs> Oh, now this water is not doing. This this is so weird. Jake, I think you're breaking it even more over time. I was trying to make like an automatic wheat farm over here, like how I have at home, and that was my first step in production. And then I was gonna do multiple other. I mean, this will be a multi-episode build here. I'm gonna have to like build each different production bit at a time. All right. Well, I guess I'm just getting rid of this part because. There's no point in having that there if it's not gonna freaking work. Pour more water on these blocks? What do you mean? Do you have buckets of water? I mean, they're already source blocks. There's not. You can't like add more water to an already. It's already a source uh, block. Give me some buckets. Give me some buckets. Oh gosh. I've tried everything, dude. Oh, yeah, it just don't I... work. Give me, give me, a, give me a bucket or. I've already, I've already tried everything. It doesn't work. There's there's no point. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with this like this. Watch, it's gonna be fudged up still. Once I do all this, it's still only gonna flow from three blocks. Fudge. That sucks. I just got rid of all my redstone. God, I hate working with water and redstone. Alright, so if I do like this, that should flow. Why? What the frig? What have they done? What have they done in this freaking update? What is? So I'm saying, look at it. it's it's only flowing in the middle now. Why would that be? Well, now it just got blown up. So, <laughs> dude, I don't get it. Okay, now what? This is a skill issue or a game issue? It's definitely the game because I have the same thing at my house over in Kattegat, and it works fine. All right, well, I don't know why the water was being so weird, but now I think it's, like, sort of fixed. I think it just has to be like this. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. It works at home. I have the same thing set up at home, and I have it going by nine. But here, we have to do this, and that should work. Yeah, see, it pushes everything to there. Then I'm going to have a hopper and a minecart hopper collecting it, and then it's going to get hopped down into... A crafting system where it's gonna make this bread just like I have at home but this one should produce a little more I'm gonna have set up other productions here as well I, I want to like actually decorate it to make it look a little bit more factory like 
But uh, anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Maybe I'll get a little bit of work done on this off camera. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on future streams or videos. Join Discord. Come by and chat. If you want to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents to become a member. And that will get you access to this server. It's 24-7 cross-platform so you can join whenever you want. Or with me on Tuesdays when I've been recording it. Another great way to support the channel would be checking out some cool merch. We got hats, shirts, all kind of stuff like that. So check that out if you're interested. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.